Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Photo tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be going over the bokeh effect, and uh, also how you can use the bokeh effect to uh, make an even more enhanced bokeh effect, or even a circular bokeh effect. So, we're going to start off with the picture we have here, and the first thing we're going to come do is come to the Layers panel, and make a copy of the layer. And we're going to work on this layer so it's non-destructive to the background background layer. So we're going to use this as the OK layer. And we're going to work on this layer. I'm going to come up to the filters panel, come to blur, down to maximum blur, and we're going to make sure circular is clicked. Now we're not going to go like this because that's going to make a way, way too blurred image. But you kind of want enough where you see enough of the background is sort of circularly blurred, but it's not too big as it's too distracting. And we're going to click Apply. Now we're going to come back up to Blur, and we're going to come to a Goddesson Blur. We're going to click on that, and we're going to use this to sort of smooth out the edges that were uh, used in the maximum blur and we're going to click apply. So what we're going to do after that is come down here and make a mask layer and come over to the toolbar and select paintbrush. We're going to make sure the paintbrush is on black so that it comes here and undoes uh, our mask layer and we're going to kind of go around our subject here, in this case it's the girl. Come up a little bit here. Uh, I set the hardness a little lower than usually. Some people set it to zero. And uh, that works as well. Uh, you can really choose your uh, hardness there. It's just really going to affect how well uh, or how pronounced the mix between the blur and the non-blurred subject is. So now that we have this, we can kind of work our way around. It depends on how big your picture uh, your picture is, but I'm working with uh, a width of 330 pixels in this case. I'm going to come around the subject, make sure everything is. And if you hold uh, control, come over here, or I'm sorry, option, you can see a blacked out version of where your subject is and make sure your subject is completely masked. You can see the black and white contrast of the mask and as soon as you click on another layer it brings you back. So that is how you can create a sort of bokeh effect in a normal image. Now if this was already a bokeh image you could come and have it even more pronounced. But that's just a simple tutorial for how to create a bokeh effect in Affinity Photo. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.